Hey guys, what's up? It's iJevin. How is everybody doing? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. So you're probably thinking, what are we doing? Well, today we're starting a CTM map called Diversity. I've been wanting to do a CTM map for a little while now. Uh, one of the reasons for that is all of our videos are Let's Play videos. And those are really hard to record sometimes because they take multiple hours to get finished. So, uh, a CTM map is something that I can just hop in, record, have a good time. You guys have a content. Uh, you get more videos through the day. So, it works out both ways for us. So, let's go ahead and get started. I am using a uh, Faithful Texture Pack uh, for 174. This is what this map is in. And I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this. And so, the only other CTM map that I have ever played was uh super hostile and we didn't finish it so this is something that i really want to try and get done um because i've never completed one of these maps and i think it'll be a great feeling to do so so um yeah i think that's all i wanted to say just uh try and have more content come out on the channel so let's do this thing um welcome book let's do this so diversity goal complete the branches to collect the wool traveling to and from the hub will clear your inventory uh, turn on command blocks and note the readme text file. No breaking, placing items unless instructed or implied. No changing difficulty or game mode. No typing game commands. Single player must select easy now to avoid uh, options screen or download folder details. Recommended brightness full resource pack. Blah, 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 blah. All right, put that back in there. Okay. And let's just, uh, where I'm going to play on normal, and I think I've already got all the settings that I need. Clouds off. Awesome. All right. So we have to grab our sample wool, it says. Uh, insert item. Uh, let's grab our introduction piece. There we go. Insert the wool into the chest. Analyzing item, please stand back. I can stand back. So, what's going on? <laughs> We're just chilling. Awesome. Okay, there's our piece of wool. Okay, good. Now you understand how to build the monument. All right. So, uh, when you successfully finish a portion of the monument, you close off the corresponding branch. There are 10 more to go. Anything else I need to learn? I'm assuming no. So, this map is called Diversity for a reason. Each piece of wool comes with a different type of gameplay experience. So, with that being said, we have all types of different things here. We've got puzzle, uh, dropper, escape, trivia, adventure, boss battle, survival, labyrinthian, and parkour, and arena. And what's down here in this room? Bonus! Uh, adventure, arena, trivia. Okay, so it's all the same. So, I feel like I'm pretty knowledgeable at Minecraft, so I think I'm going to start with trivia. Alright, uh, you have chosen the trivia. Excellent. Here's how it works. The center pressure plate presents you with the question. The possible answers will be listed in the room. You simply step on the pressure plate to answer the question you believe is correct. If you are right, you move on. If you're wrong, death. Uh, if at any time you want to quit, there is a button directly in the center on the ceiling that will bring you back to the hub. Anything else? For every 10 questions you've gained, there are uh, you are issued a checkpoint. If you complete all questions correctly, there are, the, the lime wool will be yours. However, if you get a question wrong, you have to restart from the checkpoint. Alright, that doesn't seem too hateful. I do understand, so that would be a yes. There we go. Okay, let's start with an easy one. What game are you playing? I'm playing the Minecrafts. There we go. Pretty easy. Now let's get serious. Uh, what was what year was Minecraft initially released? So let's see what options. 12, 11, 10, 9. And I know for a fact it was 2009. Who created Minecraft? That's an easy one. Uh, Marcus. There we go. The name of the accent block in the room is in stone. What is the biome that it is naturally found in? Okay, this is actually a trick question. The This is called end stone, obviously, so you would naturally think the end. The biome is actually called sky, though. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, what's our next question? What is the name of the accent block in the room? These are chiseled stone bricks, I think. 
chisel stone brick, uh, circle stone brick, chiseled stone bricks, and decorative stone. I'm gonna go chiseled stone bricks. Whoa, I'm on fire! Uh, which of these items require the least amount of wood when crafting? Slab, ladder, trap door, fence. Well, we know fence is a heavy crafting, so that's out of the world there. Ladder is going to take seven um, sticks. You get eight sticks from two logs. Um, okay. You know what? I think I'm going to go slab. Okay. In a standard game of Minecraft, what can you not do in the nether? Place water. Technically speaking, you can place water, but it fizzes out. Grow a tree, you can definitely grow a tree. Sleep, you can technically not sleep in the nether. Find overworld mobs. I'm gonna go sleep. Whew. Okay. Uh, sponge, is, sponge no longer has much use. Remember, Sponge wasn't in the game at this time. Uh, does it... But it does share a placing and breaking sound effect with which block? Grass, dirt, soul sand, wool. Oh god, I have no idea. I'm just gonna guess grass. <laughs> Holy crap, I got it right. That was amazing. This room is built with mostly full blocks. What else? Uh, I see a lot of quartz, and I see a. If, depending on what this is, if this is the same thing. That's, um, oh man, what are those things called? Half slabs, half blocks, slabs, double half slabs. I'm gonna go half slabs. Okay, apparently I was wrong. So we know it's not half slabs. I don't think it's double half slabs, though, is the thing. Uh, Minecraft. Man, now we've gotta go all the way back there. But at least we know the answers. Bam, 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 chiseled stone brick, chiseled stone brick, slab of runies. there we go, can't sleep in the nether, uh, we got lucky with this one and guess grass, okay, so we know it's not half slabs, would it just technically be called slabs, double half slabs, I think it's either double half slabs, it's not half blocks. I don't think it's called half blocks. I think it's either this one or this one. I'm going to say double half slabs. And I was wrong again. All right, then. <laughs> so I guess when we go back, we would just call it slabs, then. Wow. I failed miserably on that question. I feel like I'm going to get it wrong again, too. This is the most tedious part right here, is, like, going through the rest of the questions. Uh, oops, chisel stone brick, slabs, uh, sleep, grass, man, I can't believe I got this wrong. So, we know it's not half slabs, we know it's not double half slabs, it's either slabs or half blocks. I'm gonna go slabs, okay. Uh, checkpoint. How many blocks of clay would be used to convert for an... Or, hold on. I, how many blocks of clay would be used if converting to brick slabs? How many blocks of clay? All right, so when you break a block of clay, you get four pieces of brick. Or, or four pieces of clay balls. Smelting those down would convert into one piece of... Uh, or how many yeah, how many blocks of clay so that would convert into one brick so it would take three clay blocks to break down to make three clay bricks and then or it would make three bricks uh, so I'm gonna go with three there we go obsidian is known for having a high blast resistance which has even more anvil end block portal Jukebox snow. Well, I know in block portals are actually indestructible. There we go. Which of these methods would generate cobblestone? Placing lava above flowing water, placing water above flowing lava, placing lava above a water source, placing water above a lava. Wait. 
Oh, placing lava above a water source, placing water above a lava source. Okay, well, let's start with this. So, if we place lava above flowing water, um, it's got to be lava flowing into water. Um, because if water flowed into lava, well, technically speaking, if you think about a cobblestone generator, uh, you place the lava down. And that, technically speaking, that lava doesn't move. You place flowing water into the lava. Um, so place the water above flowing lava. Uh, what's the other place, water? Place water above a lava source. It's definitely not this one. I'm going to go with placing water above flowing lava. All right. Um... All biome IDs have a number for things that Superflat Worlds. What is the biome number for deserts? Oh, good lord. I have no idea. This is a tough one. I don't know what the biome number is. Uh, I know three is um, Savannah. I know one is regular. I don't know. I'm going to go... With the lowest, uh, I don't know if it's two or six. I definitely know it's not 15 and 18. If you think about it, they're going to do the earliest biomes first. Um, so I would either say two or six or six. But what would, I know three is, um, oh. you know what? I'm going to go with two. Yes. Championship Minecraft questionnaire! Prior to 1.7, birch trees were the rarest tree in Minecraft. They would only generate in which biome? Forest, taiga, river, plains. Um, well, taiga is snowy, so um, it's not taiga, and it's I don't think it's river. It's between forest and plains. And I, I think I'm going to do forest. Okay. Soul sand is used to grow nether wart. Which one of these potions does not require nether wart? Potions of weakness. I'm pretty sure. Or is it potions of harming? Or potions of poison? It's definitely not potion of invisibility. Definitely not potion of slowness. Potion of weakness. Potion of harming. I'm going to do Potion of Harming. No. Hmm. I've never, used, I've never crafted a potion without using Nether Wart. But I know that there's other potion types that, that are without Nether Wart. It's like mundane potions and things like that. Potion of Invisibility. Potion of Harming. Potion of Weakness. Potion of Slowness. Well, we know for a fact that weakness potions, splash potion of weakness is used for villagers. So that one takes nether war. We know that. So potions of slowness and potions of harming. Um, you know what? I'm going to go. I'm going to go potion of harming. No, I guess it would be potion of slowness then. I'll try potion of slowness when we get back there. Um, three. Where's three? Three. Uh, in block portal. I thought we hit a checkpoint. Um, placing lava. Water above flowing lava. Biome two. Forest. Um, I guess we'll do potion of slowness. Wow, again. So I guess I was completely wrong then. Alright, I guess I should learn my potions a little better. I need to go to potion school, man. Potion school it is. Placing water above a lava, flowing lava. It's like those one questions, dude. They just, they get me. We're looking for the forest. Uh, potion of visibility, potion of harming, potion of weakness, potion of slowness. Well, we know it's not invisibility, so it's got to be that one. Um, how many layers of fallen snow does it take 
to equal one height of a snow block. That, my friends, is ten and four. It's definitely not four. It's definitely not six. I'm going to say eight. There we go. Besides coal, certain wood items can be used for smelting. And which can of uh, these not be used for fuel? Trapdoor, sign, fence, gate, chest. Oh, God. I have never considered that before. Well, doors can be used for fuel. So I'm going to say trapdoor can be used. Chest can... Can chest be used as fuel? I'm going to say a chest, actually. And I was wrong. Man, what would the fuel be? That's a tough one. Um, hmm. Man, it's got me thinking now. It's got me thinking. What do you guys think? I wish you guys could help me. Uh, forest. Um, pushing a weakness. Uh, eight. All right, let's let's rethink about this for a second. Besides coal, certain wood types can be used when smelting. Which of those cannot be used as fuel? Fence gate, sign, trap door, chest. So we know it's one of these three. Let's think about a trap door. Uh, that uses sticks and wood. That uses sticks and wood. It's either. You know what? As much as I want to say it's neither of those because both of those have redstone actions, a sign is like... You know what? I'm going to say sign. There we go. Because the other ones have redstone action to it, so... Which statement is false about bedrock? Bedrock cannot be pushed or pulled with pistons. Which is a false... Okay. Mobs can naturally spawn... Bedrock is naturally generated in the end. Bedrock can only be obtained in creative mode. So which is false about it? It definitely can't be moved. Cannot naturally spawn. Oh, I'm confused by the false part. It's tricking my brain. So what is a lie? Bedrock is naturally generated in the end. Wait a second. There's no bedrock in the end. That might be false right there. Uh, mobs cannot naturally spawn on top of bedrock. I'm not sure if I've ever seen a mob spawn on bedrock or not. Um, all right. Bedrock cannot be pushed or pulled. So that's true. Uh, that's true. So it's between these two. Mobs cannot naturally spawn on top of bedrock. Bedrock is naturally generated in the end. Where would there be bedrock in the end? Uh, actually, technically speaking, isn't the... No, the platform is obsidian. Mm, I'm gonna go with this one. Wow, really? I didn't know that. Okay, then. Well, we, we've learned a new thing today, because I did not know that. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say the other one, I guess, then. Because like I said, I, I, I didn't know that. That's new to me. That is new to me. Potion of Weakness. Soul Sand, why you do this to me? Uh, sign. Bedrock is naturally generated in the end. Mobs cannot naturally spawn. Bedrock cannot be pushed or pulled with pistons. I'm gonna go with this one. Wait, what? We tried the other one. I'm confused. I'm really confused right now. I guess I just read that wrong or something then. I should probably read the questions a little bit more carefully. Trick question, I guess, huh? Tricky, tricky, tricky. Um, flowing water. Yeah, I'm gonna read that again just because this one's like tricked me out. It psyched me out, man. It really has. Wrong one, potion of weakness. Uh, the snow question was really easy, to be honest with you. Okay. Which statement is false about bedrock? Bedrock can only be in tandem creative mode. 
there is literally no way you can get bedrock in vanilla minecraft that would be a cheating so that is true bedrock cannot be pushed or pulled with pistons that is true mobs cannot naturally spawn on top of bedrock bedrock is naturally generated in the end uh i i don't know <laughs> i have no idea hold on i've got a cough i'm back sorry about that i had to cough uh, man, I don't know the answer to this question, guys. And we've tried Bedrock is naturally generated in the end. We've tried Mob. So it's got to be one of these two. Bedrock can only be obtained in creative mode. There's no way you could push it. Dude, I have no idea. I'm, whatever, I have no idea. That question hurts my brain. Which of these blocks is naturally generated in the overworld as well as the nether? Dirt, quartz, stone, gravel. Uh, gravel. That was actually a really easy one. Checkpoint! Yay! When placing a note block, which... Uh, oh, God. I have no idea. Uh, I'm going to start with... I'm going to do B... Because that's the highest... Yeah, no freaking clue. I actually probably should have started with the lowest note, I think. I guess at least we're on a checkpoint. Yeah, to be fair though, my knowledge about music notes is like... The worst. D... F... Psh, you know what, dude? I'm just like gonna pick one. <laughs> Melons aren't very fulfilling as a food source. Which of these items is even worse? Oh, hold on. I've got a text message. Dang, girl. <sighs> okay, sorry about that. Raw fish. Carrot. Potato. Spider eye. Um, I was just looking at this chart last night, and I cannot remember. Well, let's see. We know one thing. Potatoes... And carrots are better, I think. So it'd be between raw fish and spider eye. And I would say spider eye because it has the chance of poisoning you. Wow, really? I'm a failure at life right now. Dude, I am not doing good. I don't remember which one I picked, guys. Uh-oh. Uh uh. <laughs> I don't remember which one I picked. We picked the little F guy. Or P. So it's not spider eye. It's got to be raw fish, then. No? Wow. I was doing really well, too. And then, like, apparently I'm just a failure now. Okay. Maybe it's potato instead? There we go. Which of the name is the accent block in the room? Mossy stone brick. Moss stone. Mossy stone. Mossy stone brick. Stone bricks. trying to remember i named this block and so this is a tough one this is actually really hard because i know for a fact sometimes those blocks are called moss stone which makes me want to think it's that one but it is stone brick i want to say mossy stone bricks yes Starting with materials at the rawest form, not including smelting, which one of these items takes the total amount of time with crafting steps? Minecart with a hopper, sticky piston, bookshelf, empty map. Okay, well let's just start right here with the sticky piston. So how many steps? So to get a sticky piston, we would need a slime ball. So that's one step to kill a slime. Uh, then we would need to find iron and mine it. Then we'd have to get wood and break the wood down. We'd have to break cobblestone. So kill slime, um, mine cobblestone, mine wood, break the wood down. And then we'd have to find redstone as well. So there's five steps and we have to mine the redstone. Minecart with a hopper would be... Find iron, craft, uh, mine wood, okay, 
empty map is just um man this is a tough question actually bookshelf is kill animals find sugar cane craft dude um all right let's let's be reasonable here let's let's restart so let's craft the piston first let's 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 see uh, not including smelting which one of these types crafting steps okay i think i was going a little bit too into that we're we're doing crafting steps so sticky piston is two crafting steps it's the piston then the sticky piston so two Minecart with a hopper is craft the minecart, craft the hopper, put them together. Actually, that would be... Yeah, it's two. That's three. Because it's minecart, hopper, together. Empty map is... Uh, to make you... So you need to make the map. Then you would need... Bookshelf is... Uh, I'm going to say bookshelf. No? Really? I'm trying to think. I, I probably should, like, have actually thought about that a little bit more. Um, potato. Mossy stone bricks. Alright. Which one of these takes the most amount of total crafting steps? Bookshelf. So, to craft a bookshelf, you would have to craft books. You would have to craft, put the books and wood into the. I don't see that. I think the problem with this question is that I don't exactly understand it. Uh, as far as crafting steps go, I guess crafting is what the was the, the key word here. So we'd have to craft a piston, then craft the sticky piston. So two. So to craft a minecart with a hopper, we would have to craft the minecart, craft the hopper, then craft it together. So that's three. Craft an empty map. Empty map is uh, crafting the map. So to craft a map, you would have to craft, what is it, a compass? And then you would have to craft the map together. So that's two. And then the bookshelf is uh, craft the books to craft the bookshelf. So it would have to be three. Minecart with a hopper. Alright. When clay was added to Minecraft Alpha, which one of these others was added to the same update? Holy crap. Books, levers, eggs, cactus. Apparently it's not a cactus. I went with cactus on that answer, even though I was wrong, because clay is a very old, old, old thing. And I thought that cactus might be the same thing with it. So, uh, but I, apparently I was wrong. Uh, minecart with a hopper. Um, ooh, this is a tough one. What else would be added? Levers? I feel like levers was probably in before that. Eggs? I'm going to go egg. Dude, that's a ton. That, honestly, I have no idea about that. I'm not a buff on what it takes to be that guy. I, I don't remember what was added in updates. I have no idea. I really do not know. Um, yeah, my my knowledge of like Minecraft doesn't go that far. So we've done eggs and we've done cactus, uh, books or or levers. I guess I'll add a book. Okay, I had no idea. Iron ore drops can actually be obtained with a stone pickaxe. Which other ore allows the same? Redstone, emerald, lapis, gold. I'm gonna go lapis. That was pretty easy. Which of these statements is false about jack-o'-lanterns? They give off more light than torches. If worn, Enderman will not be angry. You can used to create snow golems they cannot be placed on top of tnc i i the false questions always trick me uh oh respawn hold on i have the, i gotta rethink what is not true about let's see 
I hate those false questions. The the wording always like even in school when I had questions that were like false, and I always felt like I was doing the wrong thing. Like to this day, it's like um, those have always thrown me off. Yeah, it's those questions hurt my brain. Which of these statements is false about jack o' lanterns? So, they give off more torches, light than torches. They cannot be placed on top of TNT. We know that's true. We know that's true. So, I guess it would have to be this one, wouldn't it? See? I don't understand that. Like, if it's false, I know for a fact when I look at an Enderman, they won't get angry. That's true. I don't get it. I don't understand those questions. I don't understand the false questions, guys. If that makes me stupid, I apologize, but I do not get them. I don't understand them. Uh, I don't. I don't care like what you say about me. I don't. It doesn't matter. I don't understand it. They hurt my brain. Cactus is not in its book. Uh, lapis. Which one of these statements is false about jack-o'-lanterns? So that's basically saying what fact is not right. We know that for a fact, when worn, Endermen will not get angry because you can look at them like, hey, so we know that that's true. Uh, we know that it's true to make golems with those guys as well. So it's a very true fact. I don't, I don't know. Which is false about jack-o'-lanterns. Dude, I have no freaking clue. <sighs> now that's, those questions, they literally frustrated me. Like, they always have. Because, like, when we would take a test, my teacher would, like, always mark me wrong on those. And I would just be like, you know what? Like, I literally want to cuss you out right now. Just, like, let me just drop kick you in the face. Because, seriously, bruh. Lapis. Yeah, dude, I don't, I don't know. I literally have no idea. Which ones? I don't even remember which ones we've done so far. Um, I think I've done that one, and that one, and that one. So this one? Uh, I probably did the same one over and over again. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back and look and see which ones I haven't looked at yet. Hold on a second. So I've I've done all of them besides the one apparently. I don't know. These these questions they hate me. They hate my guts. They hate my bun butt. Uh, bruh, bruh, bruh. this guy. I would like to at least get to 30 before I finish or in the episode. I'm assuming there's probably a hundred questions. Like, we've done this one. Uh, I don't. Did we do that one? We've done that one. So it's gotta be. I don't remember which one I stepped on. This one. There we go. I don't know. I guess apparently Endermen can still get angry. Grass requires light level 4 or higher to spread over dirt. What is the lowest level of light mycelium can grow to spread? Uh... <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, uh... Sure. I like... How am I supposed to know that? I have no idea what that one is. I have no idea. Like, literally no clue. Some of these questions are so random. And I guess that's the whole point of this thing, is like, to make you feel like a complete retard. Because like, so that's how I feel after that, that uh, jack-o'-lantern question. Like, those, like, I'm not joking, guys. Those questions in real life, like, on tests and stuff, like, literally make me frustrated. Like, right now, in my chest, I feel like I just want to, like, punch somebody. You know? So we did seven, eight, nine. I dude, I, I have no idea. Like I ha I don't know. I I couldn't tell you to be honest with you. I have no idea. Like I I can't even like start to tell you what the answer to that question is. I really like we're just gonna have to try it and hopefully get lucky. Um You would think I would know the pathway by now. Okay. Uh, yeah, like, 
Like, when I get frustrated, I get so, like, it makes me feel so angry inside, dude. Like, we're try nine. Whoa, it's nine! Okay. How many colors, uh, different colors of wool can a sheep naturally spawn in the overworld? White. Black. I don't know about the grays. Uh, we know pink and brown, so that's four. Five. White back, pink, brown. Uh, I'm going to say both grays. Light gray and dark gray, so that would be six. I'm going to go six. Okay. The block of coal is one of the latest additions to Minecraft. Which one of these at was added after that? Donkeys. Name tags. Stained clay. Holy crap, I have no idea. After this question, there's a checkpoint, too. Carpet. Carpet's been around for a little while. Donkeys. Donkeys have been around for the same update, I think. Name tags. What's the newest item in this thing, I would say? Uh... I don't know. Mesas were around for the biome update, so that's been there for a while. I think that was like 1.8, wasn't it? Uh, 1.8 was the biome update. I'm going to go stay in clay. There we go. Final questions. How many room in the uh, trophy brands that person into the question? Wouldn't it be 29? Because the first room was... Was the first room a question, though? Hold on. I can't see it, because... Wait. I guess I just missed it. So there's 30 questions in total. Right? The first... I don't know if the first question was actually a question, though. Um, I would say 31. That wasn't too hateful. You gotta be honest with you. Woo! We got green wool today in one episode. It only took a, an amazing amount of failure. <laughs> Good God! So is that closed off now? That was, uh... That was pretty awful, I gotta be honest. Not really. We knew some of the questions. Some of the questions made us look bad. Anyways, guys. Next episode, we will continue trying to get more wool. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that like button if you did. This is iGem. Peace.